behalf of the Harwell Amateur Radio Society, Golf Zero, Alpha, Oscar, Zulu, G0, AOZ. Listening for any members of the Harwell Amateur Radio Society, please call in now. Mike Zero, Uniform Hotel Fox. Mike Zero, Uniform Hotel Fox. Uh, good evening to you, Jeff. Mike Zero, Kilo Echo Papa. Mike Zero, Kilo Echo Papa. Uh, good evening, Tim. To Echo Zero Hotel Tango Golf. To Echo Zero Hotel Tango Golf. Good evening, Clint. Any more, please? No other turn at this time. Uh, this is G Zero AOZ opening the net for the Harwell Amateur Radio Society. Good evening, gentlemen. Nice to hear you on. Uh, uh, all good signals. Give you reports after your overs. Uh, uh, G. Uh, good evening, Roger, uh, Tim, and Jeff. Uh, nice to hear you all. Uh, all good signals. Um, well, a bit similar to uh, Tim, really. I've just had a lovely cup of tea and baked beans on toast. So uh, you know, similar style over here in in uh, Ensham. Um, Roger, your signal is S9 plus 20, uh, very, very nice signal indeed. And I echo what Jeff was saying, your audio, uh, if it's possible, it sounds even better, even clearer, um, even more Desert Island disc-esque than it did last week. Um, same with you, Tim, your S9 plus 20. Uh, again, uh, nice audio. And uh, Jeff, your S9 plus five with peaks to, uh, to 10. So. Uh, no problem at all um, copying anybody. Um, 
I, well, as you know, after sort of dilly-dallying around last Friday with the G5 RV, it, uh, I, I did quite a bit of testing on it after the net last Friday using FT8 and it was working perfectly. And then, um, and then on the Sunday, I worked um, a couple of stations in Germany on Sunday morning on 40 meters. Um, Delta Lima 5 Victor Uniform was one who was copying me S9 plus 20. Um, and then there was another Delta Lima 7 Alpha Tango near Hamburg who was copying the S9 plus 10 with the G5 RV and my Icon um, with 50 watts. So it was pretty obvious there's uh, not actually anything wrong with the G5 RV at all. And then I did, I did a couple of tests actually with um, Roger and Dave on the, uh, on the, on the Wednesday afternoon net. Um, I think basically it wasn't matched very well. And, um, and I was describing some issues that I've got with the MM. Well, I've got two antenna tuners or matching units um, I've got a 949e MFJ and I've got a 948 also MFJ and the 948 is always seems to be a bit trickier getting a good match it seems very sensitive you've only got to breathe on it and the uh, reflected power sort of uh, needle is sort of moving a bit so um, uh, Roger actually gave me some good advice to uh, take the lid off that and have an inspection for carbonization and dry joints etc which I must admit I haven't done yet but I'm going to do it but uh, Tonight I'm um, I'm using the uh, my homebrew top band antenna um, as inspired by uh, Tim and Jeff, and then when we QSY to AT, I'm going to try the uh, G5 RV again, and uh, because on Wednesday that gave us a better signal than my top band antenna. So uh, anyway, uh, right, I've rambled on long enough. Back to you, Roger. G0 AOZ in the group from 2E0 HTG.